Hello and welcome to Crypto Hub. This is the place where we provide you actionable intelligence in order to be able to make massive profit in the crypto space. This is a beginning of a series called Crypto Tools. And what I want to be doing with this video is to walk you through tools that can help you navigate the crypto space in non-technical language. Now, what I want to share with you in this particular video is called Chainlist.org. And what does Chainlist.org do? Well, it helps users to connect to EVM-powered networks. That is, networks that you need to connect to, chains that you need to connect to in order to be able to carry out maybe certain transactions. So let me give you a classic example. So let's say you come on to a website like this, or maybe you come to a platform like this, and it's asking you to connect your wallet. And more importantly, Rather than just connecting your wallet, it's telling you cancel signing in. Please log in to continue. And in order for you to be able to continue, it's telling you wrong network. Please change to Avalanche Network to continue. Now, this is just one out of the several websites, several platforms that exist online that require that work as Web3 and require you to log in, to log in with your MetaMask or with whatever wallet it is that you're using in this particular case i'm going to be using metamask okay so if you come onto a website like this it says please change network to metamask um please change to avalanche network to continue now what does that mean if you check the list here you find that you have all these networks and none of them looks like avalanche none of them is avalanche in order for us to continue here we will need to add the network to our list of networks and then to activate it before now what you will need to do will be to go on google and be searching for how to find the network how to add the network to metamask what chainlist simply does for you for example if you look at this list here we have um, a terminate we have binance smart chain we have local this so if you want to now use avalanche network in your metamask you simply come here perhaps maybe the first thing you might want to do would be to connect your wallet first once you connect your wallet it's going to detect that your network is already connected it's going to switch to these then you want to search for the network you want to work on so if you're trying to do avalanche as with this example you simply click avalanche minute you may want to click in order to find out what's going on to be sure that that's exactly what you are looking for just in case something changes or maybe something is updated or maybe there's a broken link or anything like that. You just want to confirm that. But many times that may not be happening. So now if you click on this add to MetaMask here, it's going to pop up your MetaMask and it's going to see allow this site to add this network allow chainlist.org to add this network. Now, it's good to say, MetaMask does not verify custom tokens, um, network name, Avalanche Mainnet, network URL, chain ID, view all details. Now, one of the things you will see here is that this is URL used as a block explorer for this network. For some networks, you may need to edit and correct this. So maybe after you've added that, you may want to correct that. But many times, this list is constantly updated. So if you click close here and you click approve, it simply says switching network we cancel up and the transactions of course you already know that you have not even come done any transaction yet you are yet to even carry out your first transaction so what you want to do is you want to switch network now what you will notice is this ethereum network that you find up here earlier on is now switching to avalanche mainnet and it automatically adds it to your wallet and switches to that for you what does that mean it means if you come back to this platform you will see that your wallet is now connected. So you can choose to log out or you can choose to connect wallet and it will pop up this and then it says sign in. You click sign in and then you're one connected. And with this, you are good to go. And that works right there. Now, I've just done this for Avalanche. If you want to do it for Solana, for example, let's say you want to add Solana. There's no Solana. Let's say you want to add maybe... Let me delete that and just scroll through the list. So let's say expands Ethereum test net. You literally see a lot of a lot of nets here, a lot of blockchain. By the way, chain simply means blockchain, while net simply means so. For example, look at this Binance Smart Chain here. If you click on this, you are going to see it's going to go and load the website for you. Add to MetaMask is going to pop up here. It's going to say allow this site to add Binance Smart Chain. Switching on networks. If you click switch network, it's going to add it to your network. And you 
see it as one of the leads. So you see Binance Smart Chain now added under Avalanche Mainnet. Now, if you want to add ontology, you can also add ontology if you wish to. So if you click add to MetaMask, add to MetaMask, that's not responding. I don't know why it's not responding, but you can literally do all that. So if, let's say you want to do K KuCoin, KCS. So KCC, yes, this is KCC mainnet. So let's click add to mainnet or uh, let's load so that we are sure that something is even going on. So if you click add to MetaMask, hopefully it's going to respond. Okay, good. So now it's responding. It says KCC mainnet. This is block. This is Explorer. Just sometimes just right click and view just to be sure that it's adding the actual um, block explorer. But many times it's going to be updated. Once you click approve, it's going to switch to this network. You will see right here that mainnet KCC is now added. Avalanche is now added. Binance Smart Chain is now added. And once you do that, you can come back to this place here and you'll see that your network is now your wallet is now connected to this platform this is how chain list works you literally just come here search for the network you're trying to add add it click connect your wallet add it to metamask it's going to automatically update your metamask with that wallet i hope that this is helpful to you and i hope that you learn something interesting if you do please like share and subscribe and Comment down below whatever it is you learn. If you actually found this useful, please comment so that we can continue producing more tutorials, resources, sharing with you tools of the trade just like this. I'll see you in the next video.